Well, China's been describing this situation in Gaza as very serious. It says the outlook for the region is worrisome. Katrina Yu's in Beijing, and she sent us this update. China says the situation is critical, that it's deeply saddened by the huge toll on civilian lives and the prospect of this conflict widening even further. It's called for an immediate ceasefire, a de-escalation, an end to the war, an opening of humanitarian channels, and for the UN Security Council to play an even bigger role in mediation. Now, it says that this conflict should not be allowed to widen even further. Uh, China's Foreign Minister Wang Yi last week was quite critical of Israel, saying that its actions in the Gaza Strip had gone beyond the scope of self-defense. Now, apart from that, Beijing has not been directly critical of the U.S. and other partners that support Israel, but it has condemned any actions that it says perpetuate the cycle of violence between Israel and Palestine. According to Beijing, the only chance for long-term peace is the establishment of a two-state solution. Now, to this end, Beijing has sent its Middle East envoy Jai Jun to the region, and last week he was in Qatar meeting with Qatari and Russian officials. He was also in Egypt and in Cairo attended the Palestinian summit where he met with Palestinian leaders as well as other Arab uh, officials, including the Secretary General of the Arab League. Now, in terms of progress, it's clear that Beijing is doing whatever it can to meet as many leaders as possible, put this message forward and apply pressure to both sides. But in terms of how much progress has actually been made, well, that remains to be seen. Katrina Yu, Al Jazeera, Beijing.